Hello and welcome to the 12th Android video. Thank you all for watching this series this far. In the last video we fixed our game loop so that it draws the FPS that it's supposed to. And in this video we are going to save our high score at the end of the game. And we're gonna make it load the high score when we start the game again. This isn't too hard so it should, we should be able to fix it pretty fast. We're gonna start by going into our gaming class and we're gonna initiate a new object called private static shared preferences. And we're gonna set it to prefs. Name it prefs. Sorry. Import it. After our context, we are gonna initialize our preference and get that by context dot get shared preferences. It's going to be our package name. And we're going to go context mode underscore private. It's going to get our saving location or loading location. We're gonna create a new string. I'm gonna call it s package. We're gonna just you know, set that to our package name. So when I think of it, we could just have created it before and used it over here, but ah, screw it. And we're gonna get our high score by preferences dot get end, which means get an integer from our save location. Location is going to be save. I'm sorry, the location is already set, but the variable we're going to retrieve from is going to be called save score. That's going to be the name of our variable that we're going to get from the file. And if we can't retrieve it for some reason, like it haven't saved before. We're gonna set our high score to zero. We're gonna create a new integer, create field state score, and we're gonna name it high score. Oh, sorry. We're gonna set it to high score. Now we have our loading set, and we're gonna save our high score somehow. If we decide to save it at every step, our game is going to lag pretty fast. So to not cause any lag, we are going to save our high score when we exit our game. We're going to do that by going to our public void surface destroyed void. We're going to go press.edit, which will edit our save file. And we're going to edit the variable save score. And we're going to set it to high score, our current high score. Move arguments to match it. No, dot commit. See if that solves it. No. Oh, I'm so fucking stupid. We're gonna remove those quotations. And let's see if it works now. No, it still doesn't work. Stream end. Sorry, we need to specify that we are putting into an integer value. I believe this should fix it. There we go, finally! Now we're going to see if this actually works. We're going to set our high score. What? High score. And we're going to see if it actually works. Let's go check something. We're going to set our high score to zero. 
Yep. Oh, see, our high score is updating as it's used to. So I'm not sure if it's gonna save it. Let's say we had around almost 400 high score. I'm gonna go to our endless running game. And it worked, 319. Just gonna make sure to check again if it works. If everything works, we will be able to save our coins too if we want to. Keep track of how many coins the player have collected, maybe how far he has traveled, how many times he have died. Yeah. Let's see, we're gonna grab some coins to further increase our score. Around 3,000. I'm gonna leave. And 3,870. Yep, yeah, it works, awesome. The frame works as it's supposed to. So what we're going to do now is that we're actually gonna create an object that is gonna end our game. 